I'd like to thank you all for coming along this afternoon. Um, I'd just like to give an update in respect to the police um, action and um, managing the out Gypsy Jokers Outlaw Motorcycle Run. Um, this afternoon there's been an arrest out at Everton Hills. A 42-year-old man has been arrested for obstruct police um, and um, a random um, positive drug test. I'm prepared to take any questions. How many people have been charged in the last two days? In respect to those numbers, um, we'll provide them to you later on this afternoon when I've actually got them um, up to date. I understand there was some sort of incident between them, um, some sort of a standoff or something. Can you explain the um, circumstances of what happened? In respect to the uh, arrest of that offender um, for obstruct, um, as a result of that, a number of the members of the group um, came out. There was about 30 to 40 of them came out. Um, and the police um, of about similar numbers were there and the police um, formed up as we do as a normal response um, to any potential threat um, and um, there was negotiation between the police and the members and um, that matter was diffused and there was no incident. Do you think that uh, you guys have been a bit over the top with these guys? They're having a national run but uh, you seem to be sort of right on the whole time they've been here. Yes, well the Queensland Police Service will do anything we can to ensure that um, no criminal activity or traffic um, breaches occur and that the members of the public feel safe and don't feel intimidated. Why should they feel um, unsafe with these members there being there? Like, what, what are you concerned is going to happen? There have been incidents nationally and within Queensland if members of the public become um, amongst um, a large group of outlaw motorcycle gang members, they do feel intimidated and threatened and the Queensland Police Service will manage uh, these events um, in a manner that we will ensure public safety. I understand there was an incident involving a motorist yesterday and you made a complaint about assault against one of the bikies. Can you shed some more light on that? There was an incident there where um, uh, police were investigating that, but there has been no complaint made about that. Police, have you got at this actual scene where these guys are? I mean, there's about a hundred bikies. So, how many police are actually uh, in the? The police numbers are scalable. Um, this afternoon, there was about uh, 40 police out there. There seemed to be more yesterday. Was that so? Yes, there would have been more police there yesterday. Could you tell us how many? Uh, oh. There would have been approximately um, 80 to 100. I don't know the exact numbers. Why did you have that many yesterday? because we're managing a different part of the event. Today they're not moving, yesterday they were moving. Um, we have to ensure public safety and the traffic um, um, management plan is in place. Is this a strategy to make sure the Gypsy Jokers don't move into Queensland? The Queensland Police Service is doing everything we can to manage an event um, that where there may be a potential um, um, risk to members of the public, their safety in respect to traffic um, or criminal activity. Kind of show of force wouldn't be uh, present if there was a different local, more local bikey gang. This is quite new. We, no, it's not quite new. We have managed um, um, poker runs of other outlaw motorcycle gangs very similarly over the years.